Hello guys, today I would like to show you how I fixed the issue with my left Joy-Con getting disconnected from my Switch even though it sat right in the rail. You will need something to lay your Switch on because we are gonna have to put it like that so you don't want your screen to be scratched. That's why I have this piece of clothing right here. Next thing you have to do is to remove this thing, this leg. Just select power options and then power off. Now it is completely safe to work on your switch. So now we can remove the SD card. So let's do so. Uh, as you can see, there is a screw right here. Remove it just like you would with any other kind of screw. Yeah, let's put it right here. The next screw you want to unscrew is the one located here and here. Those are also Philips. All right, it is now removed. The next screw we want to unscrew is located at the opposite side, right here. There's only one this time. Next thing you want to do is to remove the screws that are located at the back of your switch. They are located here, 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 and here. But as you can see, those are three wing screws. So you will need a specific screw for a screwdriver for that. I happen to own one. So let's unscrew these as well. The last set of screws that you want to remove is located here on the rail. As you can see, there's five of them here, but we need to remove only the one in the middle, this one. All right, all screws on the railing are out now. Now you may notice that your rail just comes out freely. Just be very careful with this. Can you see this orange thing? Uh, it connects the rail to the rest of the switch. So be careful not to cut it. Now, the thing that is important for us now is this a small wire. We've got to remove it. For that, I have prepared another piece of a wire. And what you have to do is to use a little bit of force to push this one, this wire with this wire. Might be a bit harder on your end. Yeah. So the cylinder wire is now removed. You can see it here. Uh, we will not need it anymore. We will not put it back into the switch, but please remember to put it somewhere safe in case it is needed later. All right. Now, when the cylinder wire is removed, we can just put the rail up and as you can see, it is removed. In order to make it a bit closer to our Joy-Con, we will need a cotton bud, which we will remove the cotton wool from. What we want to do now is to put it here. And when we put the rail back on it, we have to make sure that it remains in this spot. And now the fix is done. What you have to do now is to put the thing the back uh, to the same uh, state it was at first without the need of uh, putting back this cylinder wire. 